I'm Carly Robinson at the Strathcona Raptors Shelter, where these eagles behind me are lucky to be alive after a fire ravaged their aviary. This is temporary housing for these birds after escaping a fire Wednesday afternoon. The eagles were able to get far enough away that, that uh, none of them were injured. One's got a a beat up wing on the basis of I think he just crashed into something. This burnt building located just outside Sherwood Park housed a number of birds, birds and it's believed just under a dozen died in the blaze. Yeah, there were lots of birds that I knew well for years, so. Volunteers speculate an electrical problem may have caused the fire. It's an old building. It's made, made of a lot of old wood, very dry, so it would have only taken 20 minutes, 25 minutes before the whole building was gutted like what you see there. Some of the birds who were closer to being released did manage to escape. So he was sitting up in the crow's nest there after, after everything was burnt. <laughs> Others, some of them permanent residents at the rescue, weren't so lucky. Like Marion, pictured here, who was used as an educational bird. In schools, sportsman shows, she goes to all sorts of stuff to raise awareness and just talks with Carl. And yeah, she, was, she would have been in the first room right here, so... Yes, just didn't stand a chance. The rescue is fundraising to rebuild, estimating thousands of dollars. And they have found other space to house remaining birds. But springtime is busy time for the rescue, and that's when most intakes happen. I'm when a lot of our migratory hawks start coming back. Uh, there's lots of young birds that are come back pretty thin. We get a lot of malnourished birds and things that, that are just, people find them in their yards, they're, they're not good at getting back to real life yet, they're not older birds, um, but also just traffic incidents. Yeah, lots of birds hit by cars on the way back up here. The Alberta Society for Injured Birds of Prey hope to have a new hawk house as soon as possible. In Sherwood Park, Carly Robinson, City News.